when I think about saving energy, I'm dreaming of putting solar panels on the roof or saving up to finally buy that Tesla. Not just me, right? I'm not necessarily thinking about the energy, the oil that's contained within everyday products like plastics. But plastics are made from oil, and they don't need to be. Plastics can be made from plants, and that's my vision. My vision is to leave oil in the ground and make plastic from plants. And this story is really important to me, and I've not spoken about this publicly before. But when I was in my 20s, my health completely crashed. And I somehow managed to get heavy metal poisoning. And as I was recovering and getting my health back on track, I did a lot of reading. Reading about health and the environment. And I became really quite concerned about the impact that chemicals and plastics can have on our health. So I was very relieved later to learn that you can make plastics from plants, not oil. You can barely open a newspaper today without seeing some negative story about plastics, from pollution on the land to pollution in the sea. And I'm sure that we've all seen those horrible photos of the seagulls with the plastic in their bellies. But actually, plastic in the oceans is an even bigger problem. Plastic goes into the oceans, it gets thrown around, and it breaks down into tiny pieces. And these tiny pieces make up a giant plastic soup. So if you're a mussel, you can't tell the difference between plankton and plastic. And that means that plastic is also getting into the food chain, which is not what we want for human health. But I think we also can't deny that oil has played a big part in our development, in the development of our economy and our society. Oil's brought us to where we are today, but we don't need oil moving forward. But we do need plastics. Plastics play a really vital role. They protect things. They're light. They're durable. And if you think we use plastics for the soles of your shoes, the casing of your computer, food packaging, and don't try to come between me and my smartphone. So we need plastics. We just don't need to make them from oil. I want my legacy to be that I helped to build the bio revolution and take us to where we don't need oil and we can make everyday products from plants. So I have very kindly, Ted has provided an oil barrel. This is a genuine oil drum from a refinery. And we're going to break up with oil. And I want you to think of the most beautiful breakup the best breakup speech you ever had. So that's what we're going to do right now. Oh, oil, I'm sorry. I know we had some good times, but I need to move on. I'm into clean living now. So you just stay in the ground and let me get on with my life. So. How, actually, do we move from plants to plastics? Well, if you know about making wine, when we make wine, we have grapes and yeast, and the grapes are fermented by the yeast. In fact, the yeasts eat the sugars in the grapes, and it makes alcohol. Well, maybe not as tasty, but something very similar when we make plastics from plants. We take sugars, from a range of sources, and it's crops like wheat, corn, beet. And we use yeast or bugs to ferment the sugars in those crops. When we've cooked up the sugar with the bugs or the yeast, we then have purified 
a purification process, and then those chemicals are transformed into plastics. It's a lot like making wine. And that's what we're doing today. Today, we're using sugar. But in the future, we'll be using waste. We can use agricultural waste, like what's left of the plants, the corn or the wheat, once the protein has been harvested. Or forestry waste, like using the bark of a tree. But what gets me really excited is that we'll be able to make plastics from gases. So we can capture methane from a steel plant. Or imagine sucking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and transforming it into useful plastics. Well, don't just take my word for it. The big brands are also getting on board the bio-revolution. IKEA has said that by 2020, all of its plastics will be either recycled or bioplastic. That's not that far away. And Lego is hiring over 100 scientists and investing $146 million to transform every Lego brick into bioplastics. And you've probably seen from Coca-Cola, the plant bottle that was launched in 2009. And it's partly bioplastic today, and in the future, it'll be 100% bioplastic. So I'm on board, the brands are on board, and I'm just impatient now. And I don't think that impatience is necessarily a bad thing. Impatience is what drives us to be better every day. So I hope that you'll join us in looking out for products and choosing products that are made from plants, not oil, and that together we can build a healthier, fairer, more sustainable world and break up with oil for good. <laughs>